favorite rapper's time, your favorite movie star's time, your favorite's favorite's time. Let's talk about it. Now, this is something that I didn't go into detail about, but we're going to talk about it today. And I have never talked about, honestly. TMZ, shout the cash, money, on the check-in, giving me the ideology. TMZ, why is it that you show up at every single thing knowing what's going on before it happens? Who's your contact? No, let me ask this. If if this was an active investigation and you were first on the scene, allegedly, because we seen the fake news story that went down, you were first on the scene. How'd you do it? Who hit you up and said, hey, somebody's gone? I mean, for you to be there so fast, someone had to tell you preemptively almost like, look, this is about to happen. Show up. How do you do this? Why is no one checking your communications? You want to know what, TMZ? I got some more stuff, but I only respect you because of Harvey. That's exactly why I didn't speak about it. I like what he does. I like some things he said. I think he is the entity that would be the face of respect for what it is that you have to bring to the whole system. But here's what I got to say about you. The rest of you, I read some of your stories. It's hard to respect it. So in this X story... How'd you find out what was happening? No. How'd you make conclusions to even show up there at Riva in Europe? <laughs> they keep messing with the video. They keep messing with it. If you've seen the skip, they keep messing with it. TMZ. I'm going to repeat it. How did you get the go-ahead to show up preemptively, first on the scene to get the information at Reva, didn't get any Reva people on the screen, and you still didn't get any of the messages going around, none of the connections, you just show up like the news for celebrities, that's all you guys are, yet you work so hard to divert opinions to make up someone, now like I named one of the respectable people who I respect that does the media there, you guys doing the other stories, you're questionable, because of how you do your media, You know how I rock you. Yo, some of y'all seen this channel. This ain't new to you. You know how it rocks. Shine time on you. You know how it rocks. Now, I have a very important question. You may or may not know the answer, but we gonna ask it anyway. So, you went there. You saw the scene. Did you see any inconsistencies that we've been talking about this whole time? Or did you just want to announce someone was a deceased artist and keep it moving? You didn't care about how it happened, why it happened. You just want to talk about it for that time. They'll be like, oh, oh, we came out with it first. Is that what you are? Because I know a lot of media that works just like you do. Yet you're at a larger level and you were doing it first, probably. It doesn't change the nature of how the media unveils itself. Why are you the first on every scene? every single scene it's not just that scene you're the first coming out with stuff like you knew it was going to happen most times that's indisputable and if anybody wants to argue it i'll argue it with blatant stories this is just one of the many ones and i noticed it and i was like no they weren't not this one i was defending you i was like not this one not this one this one wouldn't make sense because of how it went down oh no they were so what happens Someone that has a loved one that something happens to calls up TMZ, then calls for help? How does that work? What type of network do you have running that you're figuring out these type of things are happening to report them for anyone else? Let alone, how are you first on the scene and you failed to report the fake news story that went up on social media by the fakes? Was that done on purpose? Oh, let me guess. You ain't seen the witness named Victor there either, right? Oh, let me guess this. You ain't see Mari Mar on the beats with the camera and the mic. You ain't see none of that, did you? Because they had the story out before you. They had it out before you. I seen it there. Then I saw your report later on. So that's what I'm saying. Something ain't right. That's why I called them out. Something ain't right. Because... You want to know why? If you got the story before TMZ, something ain't right. That don't make no sense. They're first on every scene. I'm just asking how. How does that rock? Did y'all have a good relationship with Tentacion? We could go back and look at the reviews and the different comments you made. 
Do you guys have a good relationship with any artists but the ones I won't name? Yeah, you're not going to get me like that. I ain't naming them. But I do see the favoritism. I do. In the way it's reported, what exactly you're saying, who you're choosing to speak about when something happens versus others when something happens. I see it. The czar sees it. I just don't talk about it because I don't find it relevant. But now I do find it relevant. So I'm saying if you're first on the scene and you seen this was going down, how come TMZ wasn't the first to report on the Kanika Jenkins one? I wonder. That's another story for another time. Very curious. Funny how you guys pick and choose your stories. Very interesting. Again, shout to, I don't know if he's the CEO, but the man making the magic because he's respectable. The rest of you, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Very curious. Very curious about you. I've seen him in other facets standing his ground speaking on things versus you guys who just seem to pop up with these stories at random. No reporters like that. You're not Lois Lane with Superman flying around. You do know I'm his father, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's, but let's get into something else for real. If TMZ was first on the scene, and and we know that he's for, they're first on the scene getting the information. They don't see the witnesses and things. Can they explain to us where all these witnesses came from? And can they possibly explain when investigators showed up? Did investigators show up before you? Because the news story we saw gone was done even prior to seeing any investigation on the scene. He was explaining it to this person as if that was the news that showed up locally. But it turned out they weren't. And what's even crazier, when the news did speak up, it was bashing X. It wasn't even speaking about it objectively like this happened. The only time I heard them yell and speak, they yelled to the clouds. Oh, he's an abuser. Uh, I mean, where do you guys get your media from? Who do you have leading it? We've been talking about many different sources of media. That's crazy. And it's just funny to me that it seems to be a synonymous factor that you guys continue to suck at what you do. You guys continue to be some of the worst media we've ever seen. Not TMZ. Not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the alternative. TMZ just seems to be always on their grind. Like, think of, think of this. Michael Jordan, we'd be shocked if he had an off game. LeBron, he's even had some off games. TMZ never has an off game. These guys are always on point. I don't know. You've been Jordan for the last century. I don't know how you do it. That means you know what's going to happen. You can even go in and brag about your accomplishments and accolades before you go through with a story and you know you're going to be right and you win every time how do you keep winning like this what are you doing that no other media source is doing who are you talking to that no other media source is talking to now we can assume it's allegedly celebrities we can because of your celebrity pool but at the same time even then how would they know unless something suspicious about them right very interesting do we know who reported the story to tmz this specific story about tentacion do we know who and what they saw on the site when they showed up that's very key do we know all the people and keep track of all the people that came out and said they were responsible for something including the women and the males that came out that allegedly were or were not responsible these are very important things you know it's a friday we kicking back chilling i know y'all kicking back chilling over some coffee a quick drink after a hard week of news whatever you're doing czar just got some questions about it because i didn't see you on the scene at all here's the thing i saw some others and that's what my issue is it's the people i did see on the scene it wasn't those i didn't and when it comes to that type of stuff, I'm very perceptive. And that's why I give that leeway. That's why I'm asking and not accusing. See, that's the difference between what we do over here. If you're new, that's what we do over here. We ask questions. We get them with that hard-hitting, objective perspective. It's a perspective to look at the bigger picture and not play around with what's handed to us. Not jump back and forth in between things. Everybody go over and tag TMZ on this video and see if they could come up with some answers to these questions. How are you getting your news? I, in this specific situation, 
I'm not going to bring up the other ones. You know the Zara knows. I'm not going to bring them up. In this specific situation, how'd you know? Who told you? Who clued you in? Because I know some of the first people by name who were contacted. Who would have reached out to contact you? And I know none of them contacted you. So the question is, who called you up? That's very key. That's very, Was this someone in Riva Motorsports? But these guys are scared to talk. Pleading the fifth. I need to see investigator stuff. But you, you can call up TMZ. Oh, we got something going down over here at Riva. Come over here. Yeah, I guess the numbers match up. And we ain't going to go into detail, but I bet the numbers match up. So tag this on TMZ. You know where to reach me. Instagram, C-Z-A-R-R underscore. All rights reserved. One word. Rocking with all rights reserved.